Hello friends, welcome back uh, to the video lecture series of operating system. Today we are going to see the some uh, basic implementation using a fork and v fork system calls. So in a fork system calls, they have always the uh, executed the child process and the parent process simultaneously. By using a fork system call, we can create the child processes. So this is a useful in a synchronizing technique. Here the four system call always uh, creates a child and this is denoted as a zero and it will create a parent itself and this is denoted by the one notations. These are the unique system calls and uh, by using uh, v4 system call we can allow the execution of the parent as well as child process simultaneously and uh, this system call creates a new process which are identical to the parent process and uh, in a v4 system call we always execute the parent process until the child process complete, completes its executions so uh, little bit difference is that in v4 the parent process suspends and uh, in a fork system call the parent as well as child process continue the executions so there are again a few more uh, differences in between the fork and v fork system call in a fork the child and parent process execute simultaneously and uh, they have the separate address spaces and uh, if we make uh, any changes, for example, process changing uh, the pages in other space, it is invisible to the parent process because of the separate other space. Whereas in a uh, v fork, child process and parent process uh, share some common other space, and uh, parent process remain suspended till the child process completes its execution, and uh, if any changes uh, made in the v4 system call it is a visible uh, to the parent process because of the common address space and the v4 system calls may be useful in a performing sensitive application and the v4 system calls are a special type of the clone and uh, these are the uh, some uh, basic structure of uh, using a fork function. Whenever you call the fork system call, it will create a parent and a child process. Suppose we are calling uh, the fork function or fork system call three times. Here this is a notation uh, of a creation of a three, uh, calling of a three system calls three times. Once you create a, uh, once you call the fork, it will create a child and the parent itself. And second call of fork is a, it will create a child and a parent, child. And this is a parent itself. And third time we are calling the fork system call, it will create a child, parent, child, parent. So in this way. We are having a total number of execution as a 8 and total number of child processes as 7. The child process creation is a, having a representation as 2 raised to n minus 1. Suppose we have here uh, 4 system calls 3, 2 raised to 3 minus 1. So here the 7 uh, child processes are going to create and 1 is a, this is a parent process. And the uh, total number of execution can be represented as 2 to the power, 2 to the 3. So we have a 8 number of executions. So let us see the execution of a simple 4 system call. Here we have a uh, 3 Adel files. This is a unix uh, standard dot hdl file useful in a unix operating system. And these are the system. Uh, system slash types dot headers have uh, some uh, basic derived types that should be used whenever we require. 
So fork is a unique uh, system call. Here we have used uh, only ones. So this is a output. This is a child and the parent itself. Suppose I am using a here or calling the fork system call two times. Then it will create a more number of child processes. Let us see one time we call the system call. So this is the output. Uh, we have created a seven number of child processes, and the totals are eight. And these are the eight number of times executions we have. So uh, let us see the another uh, simple execution by using the V fork. You can refer the next video. So. This is how the execution of the fork function. Thank you for watching and suggest me if you have any suggestions so it will motivate for me. Thank you so much. Hello friends, this is the implementation of V4 system call. V4 system call is a system call where the child processes are created and the parent process are going to suspend. If the child process alters any page in the address space, it is visible to the parent process. And uh, this is a one of the system called where the common uh, address space are in a both and uh, child and parent processes. So this is a uh, uh, implementation you can refer uh, to the previous video which i have uploaded in the youtube so this is the implementation of a v4 system call here pid uh, underscore t is used to return the value to the system call v4 here the if condition pid equal to zero indicates you know, this is a created a child process and uh, uh, suspends the parent process here if we run this program, only you can see the child first then parent. So this is a condition satisfies zero, useful to create a new process. So here the child process is created and the execution of the parent process uh, remaining suspended uh, to the next executions. So this is the output of the uh, V4 system call. So thank you so much.